What are you talking yourself out of? One of my favorite topics is all about our mind, our mindset. So I want you to answer that question. You know, what are you talking yourself out of? It could be something in your relationship. It could be in your personal life, in your business, whatever the case may be. We all have something that we've talked ourselves out of at one point or another in our life. So today I want to talk about how can we talk ourselves into things the same way that we talk ourselves out of things. So we all set limiting beliefs on ourselves. You probably have already given yourself 10 excuses as to why you can't do something. And they typically go a little bit like this because you think you're too old, you are not good enough, you don't have enough time, you're not skilled enough, uh, you're not smart enough, um, it's too late, you already missed the boat, I hear that a lot. Um, you know, you're not strong enough to do something or, you know, an another limiting belief is what people think of us. So you may be scared of what people will think of you if you do that task or that new goal. So no one can talk you into your destiny other than you. You are the only person in control that can talk yourself into doing what is best for you. So people can tell you all you want as to why it's better if you tried rekindling your relationship and how to rekindle your relationship with someone or why it's good for you to start uh, making better choices so you can start feeling better and getting healthier and why it's important to lose weight um, or why it's even good for you to make that leap in your business so you can 10x your growth. And I've been there as well because anyone can tell you, they can tell me, what's good for us, what is good for you. But you're the only one who can actually talk yourself into doing it. That's it. And sometimes you think like someone else will help you, but you're the only person that could decide. So you actually have to talk yourself into your purpose. So you have to answer the question, what is your purpose? Because we all have a purpose to be transformed, to be the best that we can do um, and be the best that we can be. So God has a purpose for all of us. And that's something that I truly, truly believe in. And our purpose is never to be mediocre and to lay back and just have other people fulfill our purpose because we told ourselves already, you know, we're not good enough or we're just not made for it. Cause I'm sure we all can agree we've said something like that one time or another. I know I have. So the reason why you think that is because it's something that you talked yourself into by giving yourself all those excuses as to why you can't fulfill your purpose. Or you may have been in a position for so long that you feel that maybe you don't have a purpose but I can promise you that's not true. We all have a purpose. The question is, do you talk yourself into your purpose or do you talk yourself out of your purpose? So in order to talk yourself into your purpose, you need to be encouraged. You need to learn how to encourage yourself and that's gonna be different for everyone. What is it that encourages you? Because most of the time we fall into the trap of being afraid and discouraged, which is typically the number one reason why we're all held back. The reason why someone doesn't do something is not because they're not capable of doing it, because they're afraid or they have that fear factor of not doing it. Uh, so they gave up or they don't start. So I'm here to tell you that it's okay to have fear but you don't want your fear to control you. Fear cannot be the deciding factor for whether or not you do something. Fear and discouragement is that little voice inside your head that you're typically listening to. So our problem is that we take too much time listening to ourselves, but we don't take enough time in talking to ourselves, which is why if we listen constantly to what we have already programmed in our mind and it's all fear-based and discouragement, well, obviously we're going to talk ourselves out of doing something because instead all we are doing is listening to old thoughts. So rather than listening, we have to 
talk to ourselves into things despite the fear. The fear is always, 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 always going to be there. And it's instead changing our mindset and changing our language to today I'm going to make progress. Today I'm going to be strong. Today I'm going to be encouraged. I'm going to find a solution today. Today I'm going to have a good day no matter what challenges come against me. You have to decide that and you have to talk yourself to that. You have to talk yourself into that and not listen. So for me personally, I put my hope in God. I put all my faith in God to really strengthen me every single day. Because he's really, at the end of the day, that's given me true peace. He's given me strength. He continues to give me peace and strength to just move forward despite all the challenges and the fears that I have. Because I do have that fear every single day as well, just like everybody else. So if you're someone who believes in God, I encourage you to lean on him for encouragement. And if you're not someone who is a believer in God, you must find something to encourage you so that you can talk yourself into things despite all the fears you may feel because fear will always be there no matter what. And no matter how good you get at something, it's gonna be there. So you have to make the decision to talk yourself into things so that the fear is not the deciding factor of whether or not you can or cannot accomplish something. So on this little chat today, I'm gonna give you some homework for this week and it's to be more aware of situations that come up and recognizing your response. How are you responding and reacting? Do you give yourself a list of reasons of why you can't do something? Because sometimes we're so programmed that everything that comes our way, we figure out why we can't do it. Or do you come up with reasons as to why you can figure it out? Because there's two people in the world and those are always the two main things that causes someone to either take action or not take action. So you first have to expect the fear because it's always going to be there. And when you expect the fear and you recognize it, you can then decide how will you talk yourself around it instead of um, listening to old language. You want to reprogram yourself with different language than listening to your old patterns. We all have old patterns. Um, and I definitely have old patterns that I know if I listened to them, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below or message me directly. Before I go, I want to give you the opportunity to join my free seven day challenge. If you are someone who's been wanting to take your health and fitness goals to the next level, you don't know where to start because there's so much information out there. Um, you may even feel as if you don't have enough time, there's too much information uh, because what diet do you do and what diet do you not do, um, then I'm here to make it very, very simple for you. I'm all about simplicity. Uh, the seven day challenge is easy. It's flexible with anyone's time, no matter how busy you are, if you're a busy professional, a busy mom. Um, it's really the stepping stone to just living a healthier life and really the roadmap to get you out of the diet mindset and into a healthy lifestyle. So the cool thing is all you need is five minutes per day to complete the seven day challenge. And in the seven day bloat blaster challenge, um, I give you a guide. I've added a ton of bonuses in there for you to take advantage of. This is all for free. So you have recipes, you have workouts, so you don't have to come up with these things by yourself because it's really good to just focus on one thing at a time and then we can focus on those things. Um, so I make it easy, no effort. Um, I also added in my free gut health ebook that helps you understand whether or not you have gut health imbalances, how bad are they? And if you do, how can you take the, next, the necessary steps to fix it? And lastly, one of the most uh, frequently asked questions I get is, Danae, what supplements should I be taking? I always get asked that question, especially when someone's looking to become healthier. So I wanna save you the time and the effort and the money so that you're not spending things on things that you don't need. So for that reason, I created a basic supplement guide that helps you understand if and what supplements can help you on your journey. I've been caught into that rabbit hole where I just started buying everything and I'm like, is this stuff even working? Do I even need this stuff? But you get sold. So I'm here to make that easier for you. So if you are someone who's looking to reduce stubborn body fat, um, you have a muffin top, you have bloat, you feel as if maybe your metabolism has gone on a permanent vacation and you keep blaming your age, um, this seven day challenge is exactly what you need. 
you can go ahead, you can click the link below and above. Um, I put it in two places so that you don't miss it. Uh, and tomorrow, I'm actually going to be doing a, demonstra a demonstration. Clearly can't talk today. Um, and it's really how you can cut your meal prep time in half and be prepared for an entire week. So say goodbye to meal prepping for four or five hours at a time. Cut that in half, actually even more in half. Um, and I'll be sharing some tips tomorrow. So I can't wait to see you there. Again, uh, check out the link above or above or below uh, for the seven day challenge. And I hope to see you in there.